now see a calorimetry by using this process we can determine the specific heat of the given substance and see here according to the principle of calorimetry the heat lost by the hot body is equal to heat gained by the cold body and now suppose if you have taken one hot body and another one is comparatively cold body has got the lesser temperature when both are mixed hot body will lose its heat and the cold body will gain some heat in that case whatever is the heat lost by the hot body is equal to the heat gained by the cold body but in this case there should not be any loss of heat to the surrounding see here if you have taken here like this is a calorie meter this is basically made of the copper and here a stirrer is used this is called here a stirrer this is called here calorie meter and some water is filled here suppose mo1 is mass of water t1 is t1 degree celsius is temperature of water and calorie meter now w is water equivalent water equivalent of calorie meter and stirrer now here we know the water has got the specific heat 1 calorie so we can write here s1 is equal to for the water that is a specific heat of water and that is equal to 1 calorie per gram degree celsius now there is a another body here like this whose mass is m2 m2 is mass of hot body and t2 is temperature of hot body temperature of hot body actually in this case i have taken t2 is greater than t1 it means its temperature is larger than this one the water and calorie meter when this body or the substance is put into this this is the hot one it will lose its heat and this will gain its heat gain the heat so now in this process after some time the system acquires the resulting temperature let this resulting temperature be t degree celsius so in that case this substance is losing the heat and this substance is gaining the heat so now we can write here resulting temperature whatever the resulting temperature is here we can assume let resulting temperature be t degree celsius and now specific heat s2 is a specific heat of body so this is the losing the heat so heat lost is equal to m2 into s2 into its temperature is changing from t2 to t so we can write here t2 minus t is equal to this water plus calorie meter is gaining the heat but i have used here the principle of the water equivalent it means water equivalent we are using so we can write m1 plus w into 1 specific heat is 1 and its temperature is rising from t1 to t so will be the change in temperature t minus t1 now we have to get s2 so we can write s2 is equal to m1 plus w into t minus t1 divided by m2 into t2 minus t so by using this concept we can calculate a specific heat of this body 